Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a Hyundai i20N. Next to me is a Ford Fiesta ST, and next to that is a VW Polo GTI. And yes, you know it. We are gonna have a drag race. Now let me tell you about this Hyundai. So it has a 1.6 litre, four cylinder, turbocharged petrol engine, driving the front wheels via a six speed manual gearbox. The engine puts out 204 horsepower and 275 Newton meters of torque. This car is relatively light actually for a modern car. It comes in, at 1,190 kilos. It's also good value for money. So it starts from around 25,000 pounds, but you get everything. You get a proper diff on the front. You get all the electronics you could ever need. Heated seats, full big digital driver's display, full big infotainment system, absolutely loaded and good to go. Now that Ford, it has a 1.5 litre three cylinder turbocharged petrol engine which puts out 200 horsepower and 290 newton meters of torque that drives the front wheels again via a six speed manual gearbox now that car has a diff on it as well that's because it's part of the performance pack and that's the addition car actually which is fully loaded does make it more expensive though so that very car you got there twenty seven thousand pounds there you can get a nicely equipped ford fiesta st from twenty five thousand pounds with a diff the actual entry level starting price is only 22 but it lacks a bit of kit and it doesn't have that differential on the front axle which is what you want in terms of the weight of that ford 1255 kilos finally let's move on to that vw polo gti it's actually the heaviest car here it comes in at 1355 kilos which is quite a lot for a small car and part of the reason for that is that it has an automatic gearbox with dual clutches it's also a six speed and it also drives the front wheels however there's no limited slip diff on that vw at all as for the engine it's the biggest one here two liter turbocharged four cylinder petrol puts out around 200 horsepower and has 320 newton meters of torque so plenty of pulling power for that but he's going to need it because of that added weight as for the price the polo starts from just under twenty-five thousand pounds so for that one with the plus upgrade so you've got nicer bits of kit on it and stuff like that it's around twenty-six thousand pounds now all of these cars have launch control polos obviously with its automatic gearbox but both these manuals do as well and all it does is really just hold the revs at a certain setting that you've pre-decided using the car's infotainment system then you sidestep the clutch and launch and hopefully they'll hook up but we'll see how that plays out in a moment now before we do please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on that way you will not miss any of these awesome drag race videos also i want to give a shout out to a company called unique they're a vehicle logistics company and they can ship cars and stuff all over Europe and they've actually helped us out today by bringing that Polo GTI here for us to race. Now there's a link to them in the description. Go check them out to say thanks. Shall we do this? Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now before we race, let's do the customary CarWow sound check. So this Hyundai has a three-stage sport exhaust so i'm going to turn it all the way up to three obviously and give it the revs let's have a listen to this engine <laughs> oh that makes quite a lot of noise and farty sounds oh yes it definitely had all the beans excuse me let's have a listen then to the three cylinder fiesta go on rev up the st Yeah, that's good. Quite like that. Finally then, the Volkswagen. I can't really hear anything. Fiesta, is he revving his engine? I can't hear a thing. And you're like next to him. Has he got a soft limiter, that Polo? Yeah, soft limiter, three and a half. The biggest engine makes the littlest noise. Do you know what? I'm going to give you a chance to come back. Let's do a horn test. See who's the horniest, all right? I'm going to try my Hyundai. I wasn't expecting that kind of tone. It's it's a bit like sounds a bit like a boat, a boat's horn. Anyway, let's hear the fiesta. Okay, so your sounds a little bit flat. Um, come on, VW, pull one back with your horn. That's the best sounding horn for sure, right? It's got an Italian quality to it, even though it's German. So the VW has the horn. This is race. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh, Fiesta's with me. 
don't know where that polo is. That fiesta's coming out, come on! No, this is so close! Wow! That was really interesting. I mean, my launch wasn't great. It's just struggling for grip. But Fiesta, I think you took it at the end. Yeah, it wasn't the quickest off the line, but it sort of caught my way back at the end there. Do you know what I think? This Hyundai, it's pretty punchy low down, but then towards the top end, it runs out of power. Whereas that Ford, I know, it just keeps on pulling, doesn't it? It's a really lovely little engine. How about that Polo? Uh, you lost that. But it looked like you were coming back towards the end. Yeah, I've got a lot of wheel spin and torque steer off the line, but once it hooked up, I was definitely catching you guys. Should we try it again? Three, two, one. Brutal. <laughs> Smashed them though. Well, that wasn't great for me again, but it was probably a bit better than before. And it went a little bit quicker that time. How about you? Yeah, I was going nowhere quickly at all that time. I think I'm uh, going to stick with the old launch control. Polo, how was that for you? I had a pretty good launch, but yeah, lots of wheel spin, and then I was behind you. OK, one last go to drag race these cars, see if we can do a bit better. It is a bit tricky when it's wet under tyre. Let's have a go. Three. Not ideal. This does hook up okay. And I think today that's as good as it's gonna be. Well, I did the exact same time as last time. How was it for you, Fiesta? Well, the wheel's been off the line even with launch control. Yeah, not as good as that first launch, I'm afraid. Oh, how about for you, Polo? Yeah, awful lot of wheel spin. Uh, yeah, I can smell clutch. Uh, not great. Okay, we're going to give the drag one more go. Three, two, one. Pretty brutal. Fiesta's pretty close. Come on, Hyundai. My darling, you're going to do it. Just think, Fiesta's closing. But that is it. Woo! Do you know what? I think that's as good a launch as I'm going to get in these conditions. How about you, Fiesta? Just uneven, wet patches, spinning the wheels up. And how about you, <laughs> Polo? The wheel spin is extraordinary. It feels like it's going to spit you off into the field and then it finally hooks up, but I wasn't catching you guys. I thought that Fiesta was ever so slightly gaining on me, but you just run out of room. A little bit longer, I would have definitely had you, I reckon. Yeah, maybe the half mile, but this is about quarter mile, so bad luck. Do you know what? This is consistently put in pretty much the same time, apart from the very first race, when it was a second slower to 16, about a second slower over the quarter mile. You want another time? Let's do it. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Hyundai won, completing the standing quarter mile in 14.8 seconds. The Ford took 14.9 seconds, and the Volkswagen was last, finishing in 15.4 seconds. Okay, now we're going to a rolling race, and we're actually going to have the two manual cars in fifth gear. All the cars are in the normal settings, and when I count it in, the manual car is going to have to change down into second. Obviously, the auto in the polo will do it itself. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that was brutal. That polo's gone. I was helped a little bit by the fact that this Hyundai has rev matching and the Ford doesn't. But that is it. Gearbox is sweet on this. It's really, 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 really sweet. How is that for you, Ford? I think I was a little bit too brutal with my downshift there. Didn't seem to like it. Polo, it's just easy for you, right? Yeah, I just sat here, planting my foot down, and it just went. Really nice and easy. I'll tell you, that's the thing about the Polo. As a daily driver, if uh, people who want a car that looks stylish, feels quite expensive inside, is easy to drive day to day, and then gives you performance when you want it. It's a great car for that. Right, we're going to try that again, but to make things a little bit more fair on the Fiesta, which seems to have slightly shorter gearing than this Hyundai, we're going to do the same thing again, but from 40 miles an hour. And I'm going to turn my rev matching off for this. So I'm going to have to deploy a little bit of skill if I can find some. Anyway, let's try it. Fifth gear, 40 mile an hour, downshift to second. Okay, right, there's 40. You ready, guys? Three, 
two, one, go. Oh yeah. It's like that Fiesta, he seemed to have a bit of a jump on me. And it's closer with the polo now, but it's starting to pull away. I think that is that. Hey Fiesta, you seem to have a bit of a jump, almost like you were jumping the gun. And then you dropped back, what happened? I think I just fluffed my downshift again. You fluffed your downshift again? Again. Okay, let's give him one more go. Let's do it. Here we are then, let's get level. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Can't believe I'm ahead of the polo. Come on! The Fiesta's coming now! No, he's not going to do it. That's the end. End of the runway. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, that was really close. What happened with the polo? Because earlier you were smashing it. Why, why did that take off so slow? It looked like it changed down into six, which meant it had a harder job of kicking down. It just took a little bit longer, and then you were level with me. Ah, because then it had to go through some more gears, which uh, made it slow. So automatic can be the most relaxing, but sometimes when it's being too relaxing, it has to then shuffle more gears and then it loses. I'm going to take that as a sort of victory, maybe a hollow victory. Let's try something else. All right, this time we're going to do a rolling race locked in third gear, cars in a sportier setting. Here we are then. Three, two, one, go. Yes, it took off. And that polo's getting smashed now. It's got the biggest engine. No, not catching that Fiesta. Oh, that was so close. You just got the jump on me. It's almost like that has a little bit better response. You took off and then you stayed ahead. You weren't really increasing your lead. You just maintained it. Polo, you were behind. Yeah, it wasn't great for me. It's like it tried to kick down another gear even though I was in third and then it woke up and carried on. But yeah, it didn't want to go as quickly as I thought it would. And Fiesta, are you pleased with that result this time? Yeah, very happy with that one, mate. I think we can move on to the next event now. <laughs> All right. Okay, now we can have a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. Here is the line. The line is here. That's quite interesting. The Polo stopped in the shortest distance. The Fiesta and me were kind of neck and neck and damp runway, it's hard to tell the difference. But yeah, I did just beat you ever so slightly, Fiesta. Now I'm gonna put a down having a wheel on that painted arrow, mate. Extra slippery. Maybe, maybe. Polo, how can you stop so quickly? I reckon this just manages its ABS really well. Nice. Overall then, very interesting results. Now, I've actually got a great price on one of these cars through CarWow. If you want to see what the car is and what the saving is, click on the pop-out banner up there to go check it out right now. You can also follow the link in the description below. Also, if you just want to check out CarWow at a later date, simply Google Help Me CarWow, and my team and I will help you choose the right car for you and get it for a fair price from one of our trusted dealers. And you can now also sell your car through CarWow. It's dead simple. You just upload some photos, put in your details, and you get offers back on your car from our dealers. They will bid on your car, and you can choose to accept the offers or not. It's up to you. Anyway, that's enough of that. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. If you click on those windows there, you can watch more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can check out the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard to see how these cars' times compared to all the other cars we've drag raced. Thanks for watching.